Hello everyone, welcome to Full Metal Gamer. I'm Jason, welcome to my channel. This is a place where we discuss all things heavy metal and video games. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below to cover all things that are recent heavy metal and video game news, topics, controversies, etc. So today we're going to be doing a video game topic and that is the Super Mario movie and what I believe is going to be a turning point and possibly a different direction for Nintendo going forward. Now, when I say a turning point for Nintendo going forward, there's been a couple other channels that have covered this topic kind of briefly, but I don't think they really honed in on the significance of this. I mean, they've kind of talked about it here and there, and there was one channel in particular that, you know, kind of made it a big deal, but I want to take it just a little bit further than that. So, um, before we get into that, like I said, subscribe, leave comments about uh, what you think of this uh, topic down below, and be sure to hit that uh, notification bell. If you're here for my heavy metal stuff, um, then feel free to stick around. Um, I would appreciate if you, I mean, if you'd stick around for that. If not, if, this is, if it's not your thing, then by all means, uh, skip this video for today. Believe me, there's plenty of heavy metal news to talk about, but we have to talk about some video game stuff on this channel every now and then. Hold on a second, I gotta fix this because this is bothering me. All right, <laughs> so the, I have double sides tape, but it's not working too well. Need to get that Gorilla tape on there. Anyway, so, the Super Mario movie. Uh, so the trailer, there was a there was a Nintendo Direct dedicated to releasing a trailer for the Mario movie coming out uh, that's being made um, in collaboration with Nintendo and Illumination Studios. Of course, Illumination Studios being the studio behind the Minions um, and stuff like that. So very specific art style, which. If you just go and watch the trailer, I'm not going to play it here because, well, there could be some copyright stuff with that. Um, but if you watch the trailer, this is exactly what a Super Mario Brothers movie needed. Um, Illumination was perfect, and I understand why Nintendo did that. And I would like to give Nintendo props for making a good decision. <laughs> Very good decision and wise decision on their part. Um, and I this is and this is kind of where I want to take this conversation. Um, I'm not gonna spend too long on it, but but what I want to get at is I think Nintendo is finally starting to realize what their true goal and ambition is, and that is becoming the next Disney. And I really think that their partnership with Universal is kind of propelling that a little bit. I think it is in Nintendo's best interest with their collaboration with Universal to be a direct competitor to Disney now. No one's really talking about this, but if you really think about it, what other company on this planet that has a very popular mascot that could potentially, that, 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 that's comparable to Mickey Mouse... You know, you know, to Disney's Mickey Mouse, to Nintendo's Mario and Zelda. I mean, when it comes, I mean, everyone knows who Mario is. Everyone, your grandmas, your great, even your great grandmas probably knew who Mario was, just like as if they knew who Mickey Mouse was. So big deal, and and now Nintendo has these theme parks coming out. In, with, in, in collaboration with Universal Studios. And now they just partnered with, uh, with, with Universal Studios, well, they're, they're if probably their biggest studio that they're in collaboration with that is Illumination. Guys, you'll understand how much money Minions has printed for Universal. I don't think everyone really understands that. They literally just took out the Shrek ride at Universal Studios down in Florida to put it in a second Minions ride. I'm I'm pretty sure that's correct. If not, 
sorry. But fact check that. I will also fact check that down below. But I'm pretty sure that it's even being replaced with a second Minions ride. So Minions is a big deal. And Illumination, that's kind of Illumination's kind of mascot too. So now they're bringing in Mario and with Universal Studios, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow up. It's going to be huge for Nintendo. So where does Nintendo go from there? Well, <laughs> um, I think what they are trying to do is establish themselves going forward in the, in the movie and TV space. There was those rumors going around a while back about an, about a Legend of Zelda TV series that was supposed to be on Netflix that got scrapped. And looking back on that, I wonder. I always wondered why, and that might be because well, there's rumors. There's supposedly Nintendo has been working with Illumination on in, in talks with doing a Mario movie f many many years ago. So maybe. They were kind of Universal was kind of like, hey, before you go to Netflix, we maybe you should hold on to the Zelda in case we want to do something with you with that. So now, because that's their, that's arguably between Mario and Zelda, it's argu I mean, I think Mario will always be a little bit above Zelda, but I mean, they're when it comes to where they are, they are neck and neck in. And one is more cultish with with younger people, and the other one it goes across all ages. So, I mean, literally, they they had an anniversary celebration for one, and didn't have one for the other. So, so there's that. Um, so, I I think that Nintendo is possibly planning on a future with their IPs and their you know their you know their their creations in the movie and TV space. And think about it. That would be amazing on their part, and that would be smart. They have a separate studio working on TVs and movies, and then they will have coinciding games to go along with it. Think about it. That's what the Pokemon company does. That is what Game Freak does. Every time they come out with a new, uh, a new generation of Pokemon, they also tie it in with several Pokemon movies. And a TV series, this last generation, this last one with, with Sword and Shield, they had two separate seasons, um, with, with, which was the Master, the Journeys uh, series. They had two separate s series just to go along with that new Pokemon generation, and the games tied it all in. So what if Nintendo is is getting ready to set themselves up to do that, but with theirs? So you get a new you get a new Mario game coming out. Oh, boom! We're gonna slam you with another with another Mario movie to go along with it, basically rehashing what happened in the game, but in a slightly different way, so that there is there is you know it's in it for everyone to go watch the movie or the TV series. New Legend of Zelda movie or a game comes out, put a TV series that goes right along with it. I mean, think about that. If if Nintendo has, and if Nintendo has actually realized that, and if this is actually what they are planning to do, I mean, this this was this would be everyone who is my age and older. This is like our dream. This is what we've always been dreaming of, and it could possibly happen. Think about it. it, it I wouldn't understand why Nintendo wouldn't do it. This is just money. It's money that they are that they are gonna rake in, and it will make their games sell better. It'll make their it'll, it'll, their their shows will will do well. Their movies will do well. I just don't see how there's no world of which this is not what they're planning on doing. So let me know what you think down below. What. Zelda or what, what Nintendo IPs do you want to see either movie or TV series made um, of? Me personally, I would love to see a, like an F Zero type, like a like a like a like a TV series. It could be live action or animated. F Zero would be cool. Um, freaking, of course, you know, you got your Zelda. Um, I think uh, like a, a Donkey Kong kind of 
uh, animated series would be cool, or even maybe make it its own movie. But I, I'm not sure how exactly they would do that. But it would it would probably have to be collaboration with Mario um, to to make to make it make sense. And because I don't know if, if Donkey Kong is is big enough to get its or interesting enough to get its own uh, show or. TV series, but I could be wrong. Me personally, I love Donkey Kong, so I don't know. I, I just think that the possibilities are, in, are are endless when it comes to this topic. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think this is what no, what this is what Nintendo is planning to do with with Universal? Do you think that there is a bigger plan in place? Do you think that 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 the possibly the the Zelda TV series that was coming on Netflix got scrapped because they were like, hey, maybe there, we have bigger plans for this later on with Universal. Who knows? Anyway, let me know. I'll uh, talk to you all later. Have a wonderful night. Have a uh, safe upcoming work week. And always remember, long live heavy metal and video games.